Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a renal angiomyeloma AML with a large right ovarian mass. Now, first of all, you will see the renal angiomyeloma. This is the type of tumor in the kidney. Almost all are benign, non-cancerous, but they can hemorrhage, which can be life-threatening. A tumor occurs when cells grow and divide more than they should. A benign tumor of fat and muscle tissue that usually is found in the kidney. Angiomyeloma rarely causes symptoms but may bleed or grow large enough to be painful and cause kidney failure. You can see angiomyeloma in the upper pole of the kidney. It is ecogenic. The most characteristic ultrasonographic feature of angiomyeloma is its ecogenicity. However, angiomyeloma may also cause acoustic shadowing. The ecogenic appearance of tumor is thought to be related to its fat content and is and the presence of multiple tissue interfaces within it. Many people with angiomyeloma do not know they have this condition. If the tumor grows larger than about 4 cm, almost the size of a walnut, it could cause, it can cause bleeding, hemorrhage. The hemorrhage may be life-threatening if it is not treated. Current management options include observation, embolization, and partial or total nephrectomy. Recommendations for treatment are usually based on the patient's symptoms or the size of the lesion. In general, the prognosis of angiomyeloma is good as long as tumor do not have dilated blood vessels or grow rapidly. However, the prognosis decreases if the tumor becomes very large or compromises the kidney functions so it, that it may need to be removed or the patient may require dialysis. Now you can see the second finding in the same patient. The uterus is eco normal but a large right ovarian mass is seen. The mass is round to rectangular in shape and a semi-solid to solid in consistency. And the mass has formed multiple adhesions with the posterior wall of the uterus. This is quite a large mass measuring about more than 10, 7 to 10 millimeter. As you will see the measurement, it measures about 11.7 centimeter into 6.6 .6 centimeter. Now, the mass has not much blood flow seen in its interior. You can find some important information about the renal angiomyeloma in this in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.